Good morning everybody. Bruce coming at you from Thailand. Where are we at? What Pilat? Something like that. So anyway, what am I doing? Well, I'm getting things packed up. It's about seven o'clock in the morning. Gonna leave. Gonna have breakfast around eight. I can never sleep when I'm on the road running around. But anyway, there's a few things I gotta check out on the old girl. Well, she does need to wash, and I know that, but some maintenance I gotta do. I gotta lube the chain. We've done probably, oh, I don't know, I'm guessing 800 some kilometers or more. Yeah, there we go. It says 844. And uh, I, I like to lube up the chain probably every 600 to 800 right in there. I've got some Honda chain clean and lube, a can of that. Carry that with me everywhere I go and maybe we'll get the mirrors wiped down. So anyway, let me get the bike ready and set up and then we'll go have some coffee and breakfast and just like that the old chain is lubed and clean got everything packed up now it's time for me to get a you know i gotta have that coffee in the morning so let's go get some the same as yesterday um funny thing about joe yeah when i first got here started coming here so about 12 years ago yeah i just couldn't uh, really stand that but to be honest with you the more you stay here i mean it, it grows on you it's a good breakfast uh it fills you up and uh, you know bacon and eggs and all that stuff yeah that's all good but yeah i've got used to eating that for breakfast so and i'm gonna dig in and the rest of the guys should be here soon yeah, well, that uh, GoPro mount that Alan and I fixed up yesterday, that one kind of took a crap on me yesterday. So I don't know if I'll be able to do a lot of videotaping going down uh, the highway. Maybe I'll stick this camera in my pocket and pull it out every once in a while. But uh, you know how that goes riding a motorcycle, one-handed and a camera in the other. <sighs> we'll see what happens. Anyway, we're going to get loaded up, get some gas, and then we're going to hit the road. Uh, sorry guys about not having a uh, mount on the bike showing any of the roads. I'll, I'll try if we're going down a straight road, see something, I'll whip the camera out and get some video. But uh, uh, we're going to Pray, P-H-R-A-E. It's about 320 kilometers. Uh, we're going to take some windy roads and whatnot. But yeah, I'll try to get some video if I can on the way. Otherwise... It is what I is until I get to Chiang Mai. I think I'll be able to uh, go to one of the bigger malls there and find a, a motorcycle mount for a GoPro. So, you know, we'll get that sorted soon enough. Okay, well we made a stop in this little shop here, got the bikes all parked up. We've been on the road, what, about an hour and a half, something like that? Yeah. Anyway, found this 
great little shop, sunshiny, can't beat the weather. But uh, I got myself a Thai tea from this nice little lady here. So I already got. But we're going to sit down a little bit. I'm getting 24.5 kilometers per liter. That comes out to 57.6 uh miles per gallon and hey i don't know about this uh videotaping while i'm riding down the road that's <laughs> i'm not saying it's impossible to do but i can't wait till i get a mount back on that motorcycle so i can take some road videos anyway we're all going to get something to drink take a rest and off we go yeah getting ready to hit the road yeah we use uh kelly moto i don't know if you can see that Kelly Moto, I like the graphics on it. You can see it in the sun a lot better than Google Maps. But yeah, we're going to hit the road and off we go. Tell you, we just got on the most boring straight. What was it, about 120 kilometers, 130 kilometers, straight, 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 four lane. Oh, nothing to show there, guys. But anyway, hey, we stopped and got gas. I don't know. I think we're probably what 100 kilometers out. Uh, less than that, about 70, 70, 80 kilometers out. So we're almost to uh, to the hotel and whatnot. But it was getting a little bit hot. We need to get something to drink everybody's looking for shade we got shade there greg and tanya they got shade over there so all in all good day no no really surprises on the highway safe as heck good ride you know we're going 100 and kilometers an hour speed limits 120 so we're good oh the the group of bmws that we uh met up with that was a bit of fun that i'll show you guys so anyway here's some more bikers these guys are taking off. They've got all sorts of motorcycles. They've got a, uh, I don't know, scooter, big bikes, Forza 350s. <laughs> you know, Thailand is a motorcycle mecca. Well, we stopped at a food court out there. They had like uh, hot soups and stuff like that, curries. But I happened to sort of walk towards 7-Eleven. I found this air-conditioned restaurant. So I don't know, I might be getting kicked out of the group, but I got myself some Sumtum and a bottle of water, but it's nice and cool in here, guys. <sighs> we got about an hour to go. This is about 74 kilometers, and we will be in pretty. A room on the second floor, please. <laughs> okay, we are at the Come Moon Loft the Hotel. <laughs> so anyway, we're talking to the lady. Got into prey. She's telling us if we would have been here two days ago, the water would have been I don't know do you guys see this water mark here that's how high the water was two days ago here I'll come over here see that in looking down at the street that is impressive <laughs> so <laughs> Alan? Anyway, we've got cats. Uh, we want to book two nights. So, we yeah, play that. Meow, yeah, meow. Yeah. Tomorrow night? Two nights. Yeah, meow, meow. So, I'm making a goofy video here. If I'm standing street level and I'm looking in at that water mark there, it's I'm six foot tall. It was over six feet coming here. Anyway, Greg chose the hotel. Knock on wood, hopefully it doesn't rain. Okay, ranting and raving about the water. Ah, uh, 6.35 a night at the Cum Moon Loft. That's about $19.60. Got ample uh, storage for your stuff there. Check out the bathroom, good. I love the divide between the shower. Couple of uh, shower gels there, pretty much basic. Love it, love it, love it. Hi guys, how you doing? <sighs> Refrigerator, some waters, coffee, coffee pot. I've got a super 
26 inch TV but if you know me I never 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 uh, watch TV but it's kind of a cement construction I've got the room on the end so I'm the one I lucky I got the view those guys got the view of that house behind there I got the view there so you know what we're gonna spend a couple of nights here um, $19 a night um, check out what's around pre and uh, but I'm gonna see if I can't find a, a GoPro mount someplace there's got to be like a phone store or some electronic store or something like that that might have it so I'm gonna get cleaned up and do a little bit of searching okay I am at the mark IV Plaza let's go see if we can't source out one of these GoPro motorcycle mounts I may be just in luck because this does seem to be a pretty big shopping mall they've even got escalators so that's a good sign that I'm probably going to be able to find what I need I just need to figure out where the electronic department is oh it gets better they just don't have one floor they've got one two three four floors so uh, you know what I think I'm gonna be in luck but then again keep my fingers crossed guys the uh, search continues downstairs okay oh DIY hello okay okay I go look DIY cup in a cup okay they're telling me to go to DIY but I'll look around here first see what I can find do you guys know the expression uh, SOL I just might be that well, maybe a little bit of ice cream from a uh, Dairy Queen will, uh, while I sit back and figure out what my next move's gonna be. Well, I'm just looking for a place to sit down, maybe have some coffee, a little snack to eat, something like that. This place here is called Wee oui Wee. Oui. So it's Le Bous Cafe. You see what I see. Let's go inside and check it out. So what did I get accomplished running around? Uh, not a dang thing. Still don't have a GoPro mount. Uh, looking for cow soy, never found cow soy. There was a restaurant I was looking for. Google Maps told me I was there. Boom, you know how it says, you have arrived. Looked around, nope, not there, not there. Looking for a wee wee restaurant, not there, not there. So I went into that coffee shop, had a coffee and a cake, which was good. So I got back on Google Maps. Then, then when I was sitting in the restaurant, it told me, oh, it's 50 feet away. So what happens when I get on my bike, I drive by found the restaurant I only needed or at least that I was trying to find but no big deal uh, I got to drive around pre got to look around saw the Central Park saw some places where there's uh, nice temples and whatnot um, I'm just kind of driving around near the hotel the actual night market is about three blocks two blocks three blocks from here so we'll probably walk to that but I came along the Yum River to make a short story long this is right behind our hotel, probably about two blocks. This was overflowing a couple of days ago. This is what made it to our hotel, believe it or not. But it's nice and calm now. And, uh, you know, I don't like sitting in the hotel. So I went out and ventured. Wasn't successful, but then again, it was a good time just to drive around pre-check it out. There's an actual Kawasaki dealership here. There's a Vespa dealership here that I saw. Kawasaki big bikes. So anyway, as you can see, it's kind of muddy and silty. So yeah, so you know the water came up over those banks. Oh, what else did I try to, geez. What else did I try to get done today? I tried to get the bike wash. Yeah, the place was closing when I rolled up. So I ran around with my, like, a, my head cut off, but didn't get a darn thing accomplished. Here, this is up the road and kind of up the hill from the hotel, but you can see the silt and all the plants. There's the water line of the uh, water that was here a couple of days ago. That's about between knee high and hip high. And our hotel is actually down the grade of the street. And you can see the water line, which is probably shoulder height, five feet high. Oh. And she just said that was two, three days ago. Poof. Well, there's a street market that they have here every Saturday. And we're heading that direction. If we don't get run over by motorcycles. But hey, it's down in the older part of town. They've got the old art architecture, old building. So let's go check it out.
Well, I thought the market started back there, but <laughs> it looks like here's the beginning of it right here. And now it's getting quite intense. Oh yeah, now we're in the middle of the market. Oh, oh. Barbecue chicken. Oh, they've got a central area here. Looks like they got music going on over on that side. Yeah, getting busy now. Yeah, we've been walking for about five minutes and come out the other side and there's still the uh, places to eat. Oh, pancakes, aroy my. Oh, hamburgers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, today, uh, yeah. Make me, make me fat. <laughs> Maybe next time. Yeah. The, la Thank you. the lady just told me they're sold out. Yeah. Oh, how many do you sell every night? Uh, about a hundred. A hundred. hundred and twenty. hundred and fifty. So you make big money and then you go home. <laughs> good for you. Every Saturday. Okay. Good for you. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm guessing we made it to all the way to the other end. I'd say this is the other end, right guys? Yeah, look that way. Okay. Um. Hey. I like this song. Well, we're going to duck into this place here. It's highly recommended by that guy right there. <laughs> Not that guy, the other guy. Highly recommended by him. So we're going to go check this out. He says the food's good. Let's go see. Okay, so anyway, we tried to translate the menu with the help of this young lady. We are going to get some food. Hopefully it's not hopefully it's not chicken knuckles. Oh yeah. Like the other night we got chicken yeah, knuckles. Don't want that again. I'll so, try that. So I think we got a couple of lot moo coming and some French fries. Cup guna cup. And here's the mix of characters for tonight. Oh that music loud. Yeah. Uh, today just got a whole lot better. <laughs> cup guna cup. Not that I promote drinking on my channel, but this is Nam Sua. <laughs> Tiger water. Cheers. Okay, I just got some lot moo. That looks pretty good. Okay. This is called Fuck Tong. Here, yeah, we saw these rolls of bags coming up here. I'm trying to wonder, I mean, we're thinking sandbags. Sand, sand, sandbags for the, yep, sandbags for the, for the floods. Heck of a deal. Yeah, so we're about, what, three days late for the floods, I think. Yeah, luckily. <laughs> but but um, amazing uh, what a uh, difference three days can make. I mean, it looks just totally normal, except for the preparation they've got over there for it. So anyway, guys, if you like the videos, please like and subscribe. We're going to end it here. Going back to the hotel with Mr. Allen. Say hello to your daughter. Hello, Samantha. Uh, Take I care. Don't, I don't know if she's even watching anymore. <laughs> oh, she should be. <laughs> there we go. And uh, hey, we're going to get your uh, dad home and in bed early tonight. We'll catch you guys tomorrow. <laughs>